Hi everyone, I'm Ron Canner and you're watching Out of Zion on God TV. I love, absolutely love to hike through the Tel Dan Nature Reserve over the Dan River. But after reading the Bible, it should be a little confusing why the Dan River is so far north on the Golan Heights. The area allotted to the tribe of Dan is actually the greater Tel Aviv area, or what we call Gush Dan, the Dan Block. So if Dan is in Tel Aviv, why is a river in a nature reserve named for the tribe? Well, it was more than just a glitch in Google Maps that led Dan to settle up here. And settle is the right word because they settled for less than what God promised them. First, let's talk about the Dan River. It's the largest of the three rivers that becomes the Jordan. As the snow melts on Mount Hermon and the water escapes through the path of least resistance into the ground, hidden underground springs are formed and they make up the beginning of the Tel Dan Nature Reserve. These waters become the Dan River. Water is life. In so many of these episodes, whether we're at the Sea of Galilee, the Gihon Springs in Jerusalem, or in Gedi, we see that water is the difference between life and death. So if you have to settle, Tel Dan is a pretty good place. A plentiful amount of fresh trout or pharrell can be found here. In fact, Ilan and I come here often and we eat like kings at the beautiful riverside restaurant called Dug Aladan, which means fish on the Dan River. But Dan was called south to the coastal region near Jaffa when Joshua gave out territory. They experienced resistance from the Amorites who would not let them dwell near the coast. We learn later in Judges that they completely abandoned Gushdan and hid it north. The Bible says the territory of the children of Dan slipped away from them. So the children of Dan went up and fought against Leshem and captured it and struck it with the sword, possessed it and settled in it and called Leshem Dan after the name of Dan, their ancestor. What's more is they not only gave up their territory, but they completely compromised their relationship with the God of Israel. Judges says this, the children of Dan set up for themselves the carved image. Jonathan, son of Gershom, son of Manasseh, he and his sons were priests to the tribe of Dan until the day of exile from the land. So they set up Micah's carved image that he had made all the time that the house of God was in Shiloh. They completely abandoned the God of Israel for an idol. The Ark of the Covenant was in the tabernacle in Shiloh, in what we call the West Bank or Samaria here in Israel. In fact, Judges says that they stole idols from Micah and convinced a backslidden Levite to be their priest. This is the primary reason why scholars believe that Dan was left off the list of the tribes of Israel in Revelation 14 when referring to the 144,000. You may recognize the term from Dan to Beersheba. It comes from the Bible in Judges chapter 20 and it refers to the whole of Israel. Even to this day, we use that phrase here in Israel, but Dan was never intended to take the northern country which then led them into idol worship. What's the lesson? Don't ever let go of what God has promised you and settle for something less. If God has put a promise in your heart, hold on to it in prayer and intercession. Maybe you too are being resisted by something like the Amorites. That's no reason to compromise. David had to endure being chased by a demon-possessed king for over a decade before he became king. And Joseph endured enslavement and imprisonment before he entered into his true calling. Friends, speaking from experience, I know what it's like to have a dream on your heart and obstacles in the way. Don't give up like the Danites. I've seen God move the largest of obstacles to bring his will to pass in my life. Be encouraged. Now make sure you go to God.tv so you never miss an episode and you can find me at roncantor.com.
Please follow Ron on Twitter and Facebook at Ron S. Cantor to find out more about Ron and his ministry. For more information on God TV and the Out of Zion programs, or to view these programs again, go to god.tv forward slash Zion.